tip number one is to Cody, what do you want? <laughs> you want to be on camera? He is waiting for daddy to go out and play, so that's what's going on with him. <laughs> Hey guys, so I wanted to go ahead and do the part two series to the makeup secrets and tips. Let's go ahead and get started. Tip number one is to be precise with your contour. See a lot of people that will just grab giant brushes and then just go to town on their face with the bronzer contour and it's just not very precise, it's just kind of all over and I think it tends to look a lot better if it's precise and this this was also something I heard from Kylie Jenner's makeup artist and I can definitely tell a difference from the times that I am more precise with it as opposed to the times when I just kind of am rushing and just put it on my face. It, it just makes it look like a little more flawless, I guess, is the best way to describe it. And if you do realize that you have gone a little overboard on the contour, then it's super easy to just take a translucent powder and just pack it on right here, damp beauty blender, and just let it sit there for a few minutes and then just dust it off. You have a lot cleaner of a line right there. So if you mess up, then it's fairly easy to fix and clean up. Tip number two is when you're going in with your blush to remember that the most pigment is where you put your brush first. What I like to do is I like to start somewhere in here, lightly tap, really have that pigment in the front, and then take kind of whatever's left over and blend into the contour because I just don't want it to look... Like there's way too much going on right here. Keep it here in the front with the most pigment. Have a light hand. You can always go in with more. So, I mean, every aspect of makeup, it's good to have a light hand and slowly build up as opposed to just going in super heavy and then having nowhere to go with all this color. It's good to just start here in the front. Be really light with it and have the majority of the color here, like whatever you have left, and blend it into the contour. Also, something else I learned from Wayne Goss is that it's helpful if you don't smile when you're putting on your blush. When you smile, your cheeks raise up. I just like to have it in here. I mean, you kind of, I mean, you know where your cheeks are at, so if you do want to lift them up like a little bit, sometimes I'll do that, but I don't just full on smile ear to ear and then put blush on and it just keeps in that general cheek area all day long that was a great tip and i'm so glad that i've started following that tip number three i learned from stephanie lang and like i said i'll make sure to link the people that i'm mentioning i'll make sure to link their information below for you so tip number three of the day, when you are highlighting your brow bone, just keep the highlight right here at the top. Don't bring it all the way down because if you bring it all the way down, it's actually going to drag down the eye instead of lifting it up, which is what you're essentially wanting to do when you highlight right there. Make your eyelid look Kind of heavier is one trick I'm so glad that I learned because I used to take a highlight I mean just put it all right here just all under my eyebrow and you just don't want to do that just keeping it there right where your arch is helps to raise the eye it helps to bring the most attention there so do that and you'll be good tip number four of the day I learned from Kylie Jenner, a makeup artist. When you are putting on your highlighter on your cheek area, instead of putting it way up here, which is what a lot of people do, which is what I was doing, you want to take it here, lower. Definitely try it out because it just looks so good. Just when you're doing it on your cheeks, keep it low, just in here and that will look phenomenal. 
Okay, and fifth tip of the day. When you are putting on your foundation, then really concentrate on the outer perimeter because you are already putting on so much here in the middle with the concealer, color corrector, if you're doing that, there's a lot going on there, powder. So you just don't need all that heaviness all over your face. I like to start out here and then basically whatever I've left on my beauty blender, I'll go in to the middle of my face with that. Something I am still working on, I think the last video I did, I didn't really do that in it, but I did that today and it, it looks so much better. So definitely give that a try because it just helps to not add so many layers on but for those of you that are wanting the less cakey look, then definitely give that a try because it changes the game for you. So I have lots more to share with you guys and I couldn't be more excited to do it. Head and subscribe so you can make sure, well, like, <laughs> but also make sure to subscribe so that you can be getting these videos. And I hope these were helpful. Please let me know in the comments below if you try them, if they work, if they don't work. So thank you so much for watching and I hope that you have a wonderful day.